Welcome back. Just quickly before we start today, I'd like to say thank you to Widder's Bell, who um, who's taken the time to write a very, very detailed blog on a puzzle I wrote. So thank you for that, Widder's Bell. Do have a look at this blog. It's a fantastic, all sorts of crossword goodies on there. Right, today's video is, today's puzzle rather, is by Chopin, who sent me this on Twitter. Whether he's the uh, 19th century Polish composer, back from the dead, I don't know. Well, let's hope there's not too much about his music in here. Right, where to start? Oh, the uh, link is in the description as usual, by the way. Do have a go. This one looks unusual, doesn't it? All the dashes. Let's start here. Clobber and run, that's gumption. Get up and go, I want to say. That would be gumption, wouldn't it? Get up and go. Clobber and run. Oh, clobber is get up, like the clothes you wear are your get up. And is just and from the from the clue. And run is go. If you run, you go. Get up and go, gumption. Excellent. Pale pinkish grey stuff in Savaloy sterilised. Is this going to be oyster? Is oyster pale pinkish grey? Let's assume it is, I don't know. That's just hidden in Savaloy sterilised, I think. I mean, that was only it's, it's simple because I already had the O. But uh, yeah, there it is. O-Y-S-T-E-R. Chopin, that's the setter, in coat, good for winter sport. Skiing fits, slalom. Uh, Chopin in coat, good, good, suggest G at the end. Yeah, and it is it is skiing. It's a skin coat, and inside that we're putting Chopin, who's referring to himself in the first person, I. I in skin plus G for good, skiing, winter sport. Aromatic duck, she's eating, not even, ordered. Right, so not even suggests we take out the even letters of what? This phrase? What would that give us? And then ordered might mean anagram that. Wow, so this might be complicated. Aromatic duck. Um, or it might just be aromatic. Scented, something like that. So if we just if we look at duck she's eating and we take out the even letters, we're left with uh, D C S E E T N. I think that is the letters of scented, isn't it? And in ordered saying, take an anagram of that. Yeah, I think that's right. Let's just check that. Uh, D yeah C S E E T N. Yes, scented. Good clue. Cunning to take off first of month. Arch, it means cunning. And the month is March. And uh, take off the first letter. You get arch. I'm recording this in March, so that's thematic. They practice medicine. Centers so busy. Hectic. Wow, that's a good clue. That's the... Uh, the centres of these three words here, H-E-C-T-I-C, -E and hectic is so busy. Post article. Post article. Uh, I had to come to a grinding halt at some stage, didn't I? United States, that could be US or USA, sailor gets the French operational. Yeah, it's usable. United States, US, sailor, very common in crosswords, sailor is often AB, which I think is the rank of able seaman. And then the French, also very common in crosswords, le or la, and we get usable, operational. Suppress satire, oddly obtuse perhaps. Um, are we now looking at the odd letters of this? Possibly, no, because it's a T. Suppress satire, oh, it could be the odd letters of this, S, T, R. Looks likely, doesn't it? STR is the odd letters of satire. And then, yeah, obtuse, perhaps, is an example of an angle, which could be obtuse. If I can actually spell it. Strangle, which is suppress. Post article. Column? Yes, column. Double definition. Post, a column, as in a, um, like you might see on a Roman temple or something. And an article, a newspaper article, is a column. Approach pigeon, perhaps, on one leg. 
fair game. <clears throat> near approach is near on one leg near. Hmm, not sure about that one. Painstakingly scooped out jelly. A bit messy in the end for an evening do. Ooh, um, something like dinner dance. Painstakingly scooped out. That could be P Y. Scooping out the inter interior painstakingly, or that could that could go with jelly J Y. Jelly. That's unusual to see in a crossword. Jam. Mm, you need some letters there. This is illuminating. Waterfowl might not migrate at first. Waterfowl, that would be a duck. Uh, there's lots of waterfowl. Might not migrate at first. Migrate at first must be M. Don't know. IT expert captured by troglodyte chieftain. Uh, what's an IT expert? Captured by troglodyte chieftain. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's another hidden. It's um. Often, if you see a really unusual word like troglodyte. Always bear in mind it could be a hidden, and uh, in this case it's T E C H I E I E, techie. This is illuminating. It's got to be something light, hasn't it? This is illuminating. Waterfowl might not fight migrate at first. Mm, I don't know. I'm going to delete light, actually. I'm not so sure about that. Right, it's good progress in the bottom half of the grid, anyway. Straight head? No. Pass. Remove stuffing from bear. Really disappointed. D. I don't know. Homo sapiens has evolved to be indecisive. To be indecisive. Yes and no. I don't know. Porridge, for example, making a comeback. Sitcom. Porridge, for example. Cereal. Oh dear, come to a halt. Polish, Polish workers get bigger. Oh, that's a nice clue. That's beeswax. It's um, Polish. Yeah, because that's uh, very clever. Putting it at the first word of a clue with the capital letter disguises that it's Polish and not Polish, as you might you, know, you might think on first reading. Workers of bees get bigger as wax, like the moon waxes and wanes, and beeswax is a type of polish. Old Flame X starts to imagine I. Love endures sadly, they're not welcome. They're not welcome. Are exiles? Yes. It starts to, I, these words, I L E S, with X, gives you exiles, they're not welcome. A door, short book for reflective tone. I don't know. Twice set out to find cause of disease. Tetsi. It's a favourite word of set as that one. It's a tropical disease and it's uh, an anagram of set twice. Out is the anagram indicator. Very nice. Straight haired. No. Wavy. Daughter, alas, following Labour Party. Uh, 
Uh, daughter, alas, following Labour Party. Definition's probably going to be party. I don't know. Right. Oh, in sketchy circumstances, get these when ordering beeswax, something else, something else, and scented. So I have something to do with candles then. So there's a sort of gentle theme going on in the grid. Candles. So that's a candle and that's a candle. That's worth remembering. In sketchy circumstances, get these when ordering those. In sketchy circumstances. Hmm, not sure about that. What the rest of this is. What other types of candle are there? Birthday? Birthday. Yeah, so I got this one from the theme alone. Birthday candles. So that is... Daughter, alas, following lay. Labour is birth. Daughter is D and alas is A. I suppose you may go A. If something goes wrong. Straight haired, no. Bald. Could be bald, couldn't it? Tea light. That's one of those little tiny candles, isn't it? Yes, and a teal is a duck. Yeah, and we've got, so waterfowl is the teal, and it's might, with not migrate at first, just take off the M. teal light. tea light. Nice, got the theme words, apart from this bit. Painstakingly scooped out jelly. So it does look like either PY or JY. Pajama party. Wow. Pajama party, so that's... Pain, pain secondly scooped out is PY. Jelly is jam. I think um, Americans call jam jelly, don't they? A is A. Bit, bit, part, messy in the end. Wow, that's fantastic. Sort of a charade clue. All those bits put together. Fantastic. I'm going to put bald for this. I'm not sure that's right. Straight haired. A bald person isn't straight haired. Hmm. Could be, could be. Oh, got an A here. Homo sapiens had evolved to be indecisive. Oh, what word ends in A? Just looking at the letters on my keyboard for inspiration. Ma. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Send babe a Kenzo top. Somehow they're always covered in tomato sauce. Is this a... Uh, looks like an anagram of send babe A and K, possibly? Let's have a look at that in the anagram helper. Oh, now we're uh, Raider on Twitter sent me a message about this. This is fantastic. What you can do, look, is click on click on the, the words. You don't even have to bother typing them in. Isn't that wonderful? Thank you for that, Raider. Donna kebab, is it? No. Something kebab? Shish kebab? Um, definitely looks like kebab. Maybe I've got the letters wrong, but kebab looks likely. Send could be... Hmm, don't know. Back to that. Centre-back's priority. Skillful goal with time running out. Centre back's priority, skillful goal with time running out. That exactly describes what happened in the Pompey match last night. Centre back's priority, defending. Skillful goal with 
time running out. That suggests we're taking the T out of something. I don't know. Remove stuffing from bear, really disappointed. Hmm, not sure. Help. Switch positions. On and off. Oh, I see. Very good. That's the two possible positions of a light switch. That's brilliant. Just a uh, cryptic definition there. Skillful goal with time running out. Centre back's priority. How could just be defend? Defend. Skillful goal. Deft. End. Yes. Deft is skillful. End is goal. And we're taking away the T. Defend. Centre back's priority in football, of course. Somehow they're always covered in tomato sauce. Kebab. Let's have another look at the anagram. Kebab. Kebab something. Shout at the screen. No, it's not give up because that's can't be a B. That must be and. Something in Homo sapiens had evolved to be indecisive. That looks easy, but I can't see it. Hmm. In sketchy circumstances. I don't know. Help. A door. Short book. For reflective tone. Revere is a door. Rev, Revelations, could be a short book. For Reflective Tone, E-R-E. -E. I really need to get this one. It really looks like an anagram. Send me. I'll have one more look at it. Baked beans, oh dear. See, I got so hung up on kebabs that I didn't think about baked beans, honestly. Need a kebab now. Right. Reflective tone. Reverb. Let's have a look. That would be a reflective tone. So rare for revelation. Shh. A door short book for reflective tone. Oh, it's Revere. So the short goes with the door, it's Revere. But that's short, we're taking off the last letter. And book is a common in crosswords for the letter B. And that the whole thing is a reflective tone, a reverb. Oh dear, I don't know what this is. In sketchy circumstances. Book candles, hook candles, block. There's loads of things that could be. Sketchy circumstances. I just don't know. Porridge, for example, making a comeback. Porridge. It's a sitcom. It's a grain. It's a sort of. It's a breakfast. It's a. Example, making a comeback could be e.g.
Mm, don't know. Had it evolved. To be indecisive. Um and ah? Uh? U M M and A A? Is that a phrase? Um and ah? Uh? That would be indecisive. Remove stuffing from bear. Really disappointed. Oh, let's have another look at this one. Approach pigeon, perhaps, on one leg. Pigeon must be game, surely. Pigeon, perhaps, is game. Approach. Approach. On one leg. Oh, I don't know. On one leg. Oh, that is brilliant. More football. It's away game. That is one leg of a two-legged tie in football. It would be the away game, the other one being the home game. And so Pigeon, perhaps, must be the game. Approach a way, I suppose, is an approach. I think that's what it is. It's a way is approach, probably. And then game is pigeon, perhaps. And an away game is one leg of a two-legged tie. Brilliant. This is a fantastic crossword. Porridge, for example, making a comeback. I don't know, I might have to use the old helper here soon. Remove stuffing from bear, really disappointed. What's really disappointed? Dejected. <sighs> Homo sapiens had evolved to be decisive. What's time is that's man or human human? Hum and Oh, hum, I think it, it might be human, and then an anagram of had, which the evolved is the anagram indicator. Hum and ha. That sounds plausible anyway. Hum and ha. I've not heard of that phrase. Well, I said um and ah earlier, didn't I? Similar thing. So this one. Remove stuffing from bear, really disappointed. Oh, got it. Oh, yeah, so remove stuffing is gut. A bear is a Ted, and the whole thing really disappointed. Gutted, as I will be if I can't get these last few letters. Porridge, for example, making a comeback. <sighs> In sketchy circumstances, get these off candles. Sketchy circumstances. Candles. Cork candles. Four, four candles, like in the, oh, sketch. Could it be something to do with... F oh! In sketchy circumstances, get these when ordering... Oh, sorry, that is brilliant. It's not candles, it's handles, it's a fork. Oh, that's amazing. The famous um, two Ronnie sketch, everybody knows, where the uh, Ronnie Corbett goes in, orders fork candles. I know Ronnie Barker goes in, doesn't he? He orders um, fork handles, handles for forks, and Ronnie Barker brings him four candles. One, two, three, four candles. Oh, that's amazing. Gotta love a crossword with jokes in it. In fact, my own one that, um, that Widders Bell reviewed had a, a hidden message about a comedy sketch. Not so different. That's amazing. Well done, Chopin. Four candles, four candles. Sorry, it took me so long to get that. That is brilliant. Porridge, for example, making a comeback. That's another sort of uh, 
Ronnie Barker reference, possibly. Porridge, for example, making a comeback. Porridge, for example, making a comeback. E.g. Let's put that in. Stodge. Oh, is porridge stodge? Stodge. I suppose, I don't know what stodge is. So that would be E.G. making a comeback. Which leaves us with D-O-T-S. Oh, look at that. That's fantastic. So, so imaginative. It is, it is stodge. And uh, what that is, is for example, is E.G. and the dots are there. That, look at that, the dots. It's so easy just to ignore that, isn't it? But that is a crucial, crucial part of the clue. And that is fantastic. And well, that's it. We've done it. What an amazing crossword. Fantastic. Four candles, brilliant. There was some fantastic cluing in there. Do let uh, Chopin know on, on Twitter or in the comments here what you thought of this crossword. I thought it was amazing, absolutely brilliant, and I'll definitely be looking out for some more Chopin crosswords in the future. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Chopin, for this amazing crossword, and see you next time for some more.